You know, within six months of the time I'm describing, I was on CNN uh, at George Washington University debating with James Carville. And uh, James was taking on Franklin Graham. And Franklin was in, you know, that, remember the huge screen they used to use at CNN? You'd have a live stage before a live audience. Maybe you don't. And then the, the guest, one of the guests would be in a huge screen above, and that was Franklin Graham. And he was uh, not a, it was a video of Franklin. Franklin was saying that uh, Islam was a wicked and evil religion. And, of course, James turned to me and said, do you agree with that? And uh, at which point I said, yes, I do. I defended Franklin. And so... Um, But the interesting thing was that James uh, just lost, he lost it, the it. He started sal salivating, he started screaming at me, he cursed GD right in my face on live television, God. And how ironic, I thought, it was on this very stage, just a, a few months ago I heard an anchor ask a pastor to pray. And now we have James cursing that same God on that CNN stage. And you know, within 16 months of that time, I was sitting in my office at CWA when the Lawrence versus Texas decision came down. Now that decision made sodomy legal. Uh, it was a state law, it was, it was struck down, and that was the gate that opened the way to homosexual marriage. And within, what, 12 years, something like that, we had homosexual marriage in this country. So we went from 9-11, when things were maybe a little more normal, uh, and we lost so much ground in such a fast time. You know, it was uh, just in that 12 years, that, that momentary national awakening to the need for an almighty God turned into a nationwide fist of defiance in his face.